Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're doing the final part of the video where we fix all the water damage that occurred in the overhead cab of our Class C Jamboree. We're going to be putting up the rest of the paneling and we're also going to be doing a lot of finish work to make everything look nice, fill in some of the gaps and cracks and little things like that along the way to make sure that we have a really nice finished product. And then we're going to do the reveal at the end and you guys can uh, check it out and see how it all turned out. Um, so without any further ado, let's get out there and finish this guy up. So first thing we're going to do is remove that curtain rod holder, that little cover there. And just a couple of screws into the ceiling is going to remove that. And uh, then we're going to take off a little Weeboost clip there. And these curtain rod holders. Uh, if, the, if the screws are too rusted, you may just have to beat them off with a hammer. You can grind them off with a uh, Dremel tool in a grinding wheel, however you want to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and cut out the uh, paneling just like we did on the other ones. I was actually going to leave this area and just do the areas that had the water damage, but there's just no way. It would have kept me up at night. It would have driven me crazy. So, of course, I have to do the rest of it so it all matches and looks uniform. And, uh, again, we're just going to pry everything off, and it's going to come right, right apart there since we already did the scoring with the razor knife. And uh, now we're ready to remove that block insulation. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take our flat bar, just kind of try and work that out. We are going to reuse this stuff. And then we're going to use our rust and paint grinding wheel to get rid of all that rust that we can. Kind of get it prepped for our uh, rust reformer. And if it doesn't fit in any areas, you can just take a scraper and uh, kind of go over that area and just try and get all the big flakes of rust off of there. Uh, so it's going to have a nice smooth surface for the rust reformer and then wipe everything down with a rag to get all that dust off. And then of course we're going to tape all the areas we don't want to get paint on. And I'm just doing a single layer up top. I'm not too worried about it because it's going to be covered by the curtain uh, cover. So everything's going to be pretty easy to take care of there. And sorry about the light from the windows kind of made everything dark for us. But we added our liquid nail and we replaced our foam block insulation. And now we're going to add our Great Stuff Expansive Foam to fill in all those gaps all around the window and all that good stuff. And now we're gonna go with the liquid nail. The next day we've removed all the foam and we're putting up our piece. So that's gonna fit right into place there. I drilled a hole for the cable coming in for the WeBoost. And on this side of the window, I can actually open the window and use clamps, which I love. That's a lot easier than trying to prop it up or anything else. And uh, again, we're just gonna put on our last little panel here. And stick that into place. And I've got a little corner piece there. I had to piece all this stuff together. I did not want to have to go buy a new panel for that little stuff in the corner. And again, it's all going to be covered by the, uh, the curtain uh, cover piece. So we're fine there. I'm going to put a piece of trim here. And I am just using uh, some more of that liquid nail. Be careful not to use too much because if it squeezes out, it'll drive you crazy. And I had to get in there and kind of use a chisel and little little tiny thin stuff to kind of get it all cleaned out and uh, make it look nice. So we have that trim in there. And uh, now it's time to replace the plywood. Now you can see in the corner, I took out that little piece that somebody had done years ago. It doesn't show it here because I'm just fitting it into place, but I did replace that chunk in the corner with a new piece of three quarter inch ply and secured it before I added this top layer of three quarter inch plywood. And for some reason that footage is, is corrupted. I couldn't show it to you. But now we're going to screw all of this down, making sure they use screws that aren't going to go all the way through uh, your, your surface, your bottom layer there. You don't want them poking out underneath your RV and going through the fiber class and causing extra problems. So make sure your screws are the, pro the appropriate depth and then go ahead and screw that down with as many screws as you feel is necessary. I'm also going to, I cut a few pieces over here for this corner just to make sure everything was kind of the same layer. And I'm going to screw those down as well. Just kind of getting rid of my scrap pieces there. And uh, this is the color putty. And you can see that crack right there. You really just work it in with your fingers there. Fill up the entire thing. And once you get the entire gap nice and filled, uh, you can take a wet rag and just kind of wipe that down. And it makes it kind of smooth. And it meshes it really, really nicely. So you just kind of wipe it all down. We're going to get the little bit out of the crack right there. And when that dries, it really does blend it quite well. And we're just going to do that all the way around the window, anywhere there are cracks. You could use trim for this process, I suppose, but those rounded edges would probably be a bit of a hassle for you, and I didn't want to mess with it. So the colored putty is going to work fine for me in this application. And you would be surprised at how well this camouflages everything. No one's ever even noticed that, that there were any gaps there to begin with. As you can see, it just kind of makes everything disappear if you blend the wood properly. I could put a piece of trim down here right over the three-quarter inch plywood, 
but I'm not going to because my bed's gonna cover it and I'm gonna save it for another project. And if I ever have to pull up that plywood, it might come in handy. So here's our end result. There's the new plywood up. As you can see, there's the wall on the right looking pretty good. I also put up some uh, reflective paneling I'll go over later. And there it is, it looks really good. I put the Weeboos back up. You can see all the uh, little gaps and stuff are covered. And I think it looks great. I really like the way this all looks. And here's an end result with the bed back in place. And that's how you go from this disgusting mess that has mold and mildew and it's just falling down around us and nobody wants to sleep next to that, to this, which looks a lot better. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's the finished product. Take care and happy camping. Well, there you go. I'm definitely liking it. I think it turned out pretty well. Slept in there a couple of nights and I'm definitely liking the way it looks and uh, the way everything turned out. The color putty that I used to fill in some of the gaps and cracks and mistakes is called exactly that. It's called color putty. You can get it at Home Depot or anywhere else and it matches just about any color of wood you can imagine. Take a piece of whatever you're trying to match in there, match up the color and the stuff works really well and I've been using that same jar for about a year now and it hasn't dried out on me. So definitely liking that. For anybody that's curious about the reflective blinds that I put in, I will do a video on that to let you know how I'm liking that little upgrade. I decided to put those in once I had everything pulled out and uh, I'll do a video uh, going over that and explaining that and kind of showing you how I did it and how I like it as well. Um, if this video helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Leave comments, ask any questions you want, make fun of my work, that's all fine. The comments do help. And um, I hope this helped you out. I hope it gives you some kind of idea of where you might need to go or what's entailed uh, with, with water damage like this. So my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and thanks so much for watching and happy camping.